All right, hi everybody. It's Bonkai922 yet again. Um, here to bring you history's strongest disciple, Kenichi. Now I know a lot of people have been. Well, actually, one person commented on my channel like, "Where's the Kenichi review?" I'm like, "Damn, people look forward to it." Um. This chapter, on some Naruto shit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Naruto. Yeah. I'm glad you'll get around here. By the way, in this chapter, yeah. Um, Kenichi kind of got stomped. <laughs> I'm not joking around there. He got stomped. Stomped. Now... Here's what confuses me about this chapter. Satomi says of the other master's name that told him to kill them. His name was Sen Sui. You know, Sen and then Z U I. And the thing. That has me confused. Is they show you a cutout of what this guy looks like in the bottom left hand corner. And he kind of looks like Hongo. So that's the thing that confused me. Because I'm looking to see if the, the name rings any bells. Looking it up online and couldn't find it. So it might be like a kind of master name that Satomi uses for Hongo, maybe? But either way, that's basically the story. And Saiga was the one who told them, told him to follow the order of showing them inside the, the base. So, there you go. So, beginning of this chapter... We got Satomi um, fighting Kenichi. He says, "You got a lot of look on your eye, nice look in your eyes." So on and so forth. There's also a, uh, information about the anime, the OVAs, I believe, and so on and so forth. In the beginning, uh, pretty much, he was basically telling Kenichi, "You know, be careful. That's the Furinji style in Tasabaki, um, which allows, which is." Translated as martial arts, whole body movement, footwork, and handwork. Um, and she also tells him he uses Kurumusago Tatsubaki. Just like Kanshioho and me. And then basically he's saying correct... One of my masters, he's basically saying, Satomi, one of my masters is indeed Furinji Saiga, and the other master is the most powerful head of Kurumi Kuremi Sago Sensui. Now, they show on the left side of page six a shadow of this guy. And I can't think of anyone in the Shadow Nine Fists that form that cut out better than Hongo. So, at least that's what it seems to be. Give or take. So, he basically tells him that. Now, you're wondering why I said Naruto. In this chapter, Satomi does this with his hands and he actually crosses his toes. Can't see me doing it. I'm crossing my toes. He was doing seals. That's right. Seals. Um, and basically we have... Um, um, him explain that he that had that sense and sense we... Sensei gave me the order to kill him. And it's like, oh, how long have I been ready to exchange bros with you, Kenichi? 
And then Kenichi realizes he has no choice but to go for it. And then we have Najima trying to get out of the way. He's trying to run away. Satomi passes. Kenichi tries to attack him. Kenichi grabs him. Um, and he's just telling him, "Support part of my master. I could stand up in face of evil, whatever, whoever it may be. And there's like a throw, ultra combo series one throw. Um, and Kenichi's like saying to himself, maybe he could do this after all. He kicks him. You know, they basically do a kick to a kick. Um... And he does shit shikoke. And Satomi's like, you really are strong. And then he does this thing with his hands. He's going like this. And I'm like, what's that about? So, next page he says, Enter Seal, Dueling Seal. Now, this isn't like Naruto per se, but he does this. And what this does is it supposedly gives him more power in his hands and in other parts of his bodies. He goes into details in this chapter. He basically says he would have the ability to when man used to walk on four legs and he could climb a tree. Now, I don't want to go into too much detail about that. But, and he basically says... When he does this, he's able to kick Kenichi like like almost all the way to the fucking wall. The roof. Shoot through the roof out of nowhere. And Miyu basically explains to Nejima that it's just like the Shugin techniques that my father told me long about long ago. And he then goes into details about the seals when you Now, this is like I said, this isn't like Naruto. When you go like this, 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 then this, we're talking he's doing this. That's all he's doing. But it's enough to be considered a seal, apparently. And it allows him to get more power in his legs and I believe in his arms as well. And he can also do it in his toes. So, yeah. This is a pretty tough opponent. If I do say so myself. Um, and he was like, what are you, a ninja or something? He's like, um, Kurumu Sago was originally a ninja clan, and he just blasts Kenichi. He just, so he's saying that, oh, you're from that group, Kenichi says, says, no, I'm not a descendant of one of the blood, that blessed bloodline. The family known from that as one person with the value of multiple armies are those two. And it's these two girls. They're from this this ninja clan, and one has really big boobs, and one has small boobs. <clears throat> and you know they're they're belittling um uh Mew, and Mew just says blah 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 blah. <laughs> that was a funny part, I have to say. Translation there was pretty funny. They, they have her saying blah 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 blah, and then Mew was like what blah blah blah. So we continued the fight with Kenichi and. So, Tomi, um, it's looking like Kenichi can't get off on any of them. He is looking really bad, Kenichi, here. Um, and it's like, what is the weight of these behind his punches? Aren't we the, the same disciples, disciple class? And he's like saying that they aren't limited to my hands. I can also do them with my feet. Feet, foot, inner seal. And he does. He says, shall we play some more? He says, Furinji. Did he say Furinji? And then he does a thousand tree wheel. Throws Kenichi to the wall. And Kenichi's like, it's no use. There's no way I can. Win. And on the side, I think it says, what it says on the side? The murderous fist's strongest disciple, K Kajima, overpowers Kenichi with an endless... Variety of attacks. Do we, the weak number one's disciples, stand any chance of survival? Also says on the bottom, continue to next issue, Wednesday, April 9th. Um, I think that doesn't mean anything. I mean, just saying that. It's usually, you know, 
There's going to be a chapter next week. At least from what I'm seeing. Now, someone posted this in the J room, by the way, and saying, yo, like, this guy's better than Minato or some shit like that. I wouldn't go that far. All really, you see, here's the thing. All Satomi really did when he did those seals was he strengthened his body. That's all he did. That's all that really was. You, know, you strengthen your own body with these seals. And he was able to kick Kenichi up to the freaking roof of the of the room. And he was able to do that move, that wheel thing, and push him to the wall. In this chapter, though, now I'm going to give this a four and a half out of five. Kenichi looked like a bitch. <clears throat> now... This might be one of the reasons why some people are like, I hate Kenichi. Drop the shit. Um, like I said, majority of the time why I like Kenichi and why I like reviewing it is <coughs> the Masters. They're like the top shit in this freaking manga. I mean, you look at Ayato, Sakaki, Akisame, uh, Apachai. Yeah, they're, they're the top shit. And you put in Ferengi, uh, Saiga, just increases it. Um, overall, from what I've read so far, from when who who Kanishi has fought, when you really when it really comes down to it, he's fought to a good extent Lou, but not much. He's fought Berserker. I have a sinking suspicion. Not going to say Kenichi's going to die. But if he gets beat up quite a few times and is on the verge of death, there might be a possibility Miyu go might go back to what she was before. I don't know if that's gonna happen, but it could happen. Now, I have no idea how can how Kenichi's gonna get out of this. He looks fucked. Yeah. He looks fucked. Because, I mean, there's a possibility he can get out of it. But it looks like he just can't compete with this guy. Which I had a feeling was going to happen. Because, I mean, you're talking about Kenichi's fighting someone. He's not like Berserker. He's not like Odin. He's not like any of those guys. Any of those disciples. This guy is like Kenichi. Trains like Kenichi. In fact, has more powerful moves to a certain extent than Kenichi, but that's to debate. He looks fucked. Hey, he says, oh, I can't do this. But he's the main character of the story. I'm sure we'll have some kind of bullshit thing where he'll end up doing. But he obviously will need something. He'll need something. I don't want to see pull out of his ass. He might have pulled it out of his ass. To beat this guy. Because Satomi's no joke. He, he he's he's a great aim. You know, he he's 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 up there. He could he could do a freaking seal and get all this power? I mean, give me a break, man. Not even Berserker can do that. Not Hermit, not, you know, Tanimoto. None of those guys. They couldn't do that shit. So, yeah. Also, I think it's bullshit that you got these two... Ninja bitches <laughs> fighting BU. It's two on one. That's fucking stupid. And I like the fact that she goes blah, 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 blah to them. So, but Kenichi's in a bind. Real bind. Now, I'm not going to go out here and say, I hope Kenichi dies. No. I want to see, like, something new from him. Come on, man. Something new. 
something new. But Satomi, you know, hey, he, he's a pretty badass motherfucker. <laughs> um, I didn't expect it to be um this crazy. Yeah. He's doing seals. Maybe it's going to be Naruto. <laughs> no. Oh, man. It's, eh, it's a jab. But we'll see what happens next week. Yeah, hopefully if it's next week. Because they said... Think, so, but I don't think that means anything. I don't think that means anything. I think that's just saying... Um, you know. That's just saying. So, I don't think it means anything. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the story. Bonkai Night 22. See you guys later. Can you see looks? He looks like he's fucked. He looks like he's fucked. If he doesn't come beat, come, come combat with this guy with some kind of move or ability or martial art move that he might know to defeat him. You know, because this guy has got, he's got his A-game phase on. So, but yeah, we'll see you next week. I'm Bonkai 922. See you guys later. Uh, like I said before tonight, there's going to be a Toriko live stream. Might invite Nostradamus. And this other guy, Ritoriko. Zebra. 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 But zebra. Gotta say zebra. So, looking forward to that. I'll see you guys later.